Welcome everybody to Auken Flower Basketball Stadium for the grand final series between the Brisbane Capitals and the Gold Coast Rollers. Bradley brought to you by Nothing But Net Media, Australian Sports Network, Stream Team Australia, and of course, Basketball Queensland. I'm John Guarna, and as always, I'm joined tonight by Dave Derwin. Dave, the two best teams throughout the regular season are here in the penultimate weekend of basketball. This is the ultimate weekend of Q QBL basketball. Should be a great series and a great game one ahead of us here tonight. Yeah, well, you say uh, the two best teams, and statistics would back you up, Johnny. They, they've uh, remarkably similar in uh, across the board, and we'll get into that a little bit later in the, over the weekend. But uh, a little bit refreshing to see a little little southern hosting going on. How about that? It's been a while. The fir very first grand final series we called here at For Nothing But That Media was actually here in Brisbane. It was the Cairns Marlins coming in and pulling off uh, the away victory in the grand final series, something that the Gold Coast Rollers hope to replicate. What do they need to do to pull off, uh, I guess, would be a pseudo upset to win the, the championship? Yeah, well, uh, I mean, I think for, for both teams, um, you know, very evenly matched, got good, good starting five, good bench action. Um, lots of experience, NBL experience, a little bit of, little bit of the youth to Brisbane. I'll give them an advantage with the Magna Kadi versus the Martin Petrie. But equally, the old dogs know how to get it done. Um, and then, you know, similarly with the, you know, the imports for Gold Coast and TJ, you throw in a Jared Eustace off the bench and Salicic, and uh, you know they got a they got a nice group too. So I'm, I'm in really looking forward to a, what I think is going to be a very even series. It's going to be a great series. I had a chance to catch up with both head coaches before the game. We'll start off with Sam McKinnon, the home team, Brisbane Capitals, coming in to the grand final series. Let's hear what Sam had to say before the game. John Guana here from Nothing But Net Media, and I'm joined by Brisbane Capitals head coach Sam McKinnon. Sam, it's the grand finals. This is what you're looking for all season long. How's it feel to be here? Yeah, it's great. Um, starting back in February and probably when I was trying to sign the guys, you always try to put a, a roster together that you think can win and compete. Um, so obviously we've done that and now we have a chance to, to win the QBL Championship. So at home, um, yeah, we're, we're feeling pretty good. The extra week off, how did that uh, affect your preparations for the Grand Final Series? Oh, it's just another week. It's um, of, of, of training and just trying to probably manage Will and Jason's bullets load because we're in pre-season there. Um, but it gave us a chance for someone like uh, Cobby Wilson to get fit. Um, he had some shoulder issues, but he's all good now. So for us, it's um, it's probably worked out okay. So I can't complain. Just now it's fine. It's here now, so it's done with. You played Gold Coast in round two. That was ages ago. Mm -hmm. I, know, I don't know how much you can take out of that, but what do you see on film that – tells you what your keys need to be to pull out a victory tonight and, and in the series. Look, everyone's done it. Everyone will double Jason, and um, he's good enough to make plays off that. And uh, then our guys are going to have open shots or have to make a play themselves. So ball movement's key. Um, we can't just walk the ball down. Um, we need to get up and disrupt against Gold Coast. They're a, they're a team that can execute well with, with, with their um, older veteran players, but we also need to get after their legs. So um, two different styles out there, so we'll see how we go. It's going to be a great series. Can't wait to see it. All the best tonight and uh, throughout the series. Cheers. Thanks, John. That was uh, Brisbane Capitals head coach Sam McKinnon. Sam expects to see Gold Coast come out to double team Jason Kadi, try and get the ball out of his hands. Are you expecting the same thing from the Rollers in their approach to defending Jason Kadi? Sure am. And uh, we talked a little bit about that on the podcast. Uh, it worked for, against Wiltshire and uh, they had success against Townsville. So I think there'd be a little bit more of the same, but like we talked about on the podcast, you know, we've got, we've got Aaron Anderson here for the Capitals who can be that receiver and quickly make a great decision. And then it's four on three basketball. So I think uh, I, I like the intent and I, it'll be really interesting to see what Coach Conlon does with that over the next couple of games or three games maybe. And, uh, and then equally to see how um, the Caps counter with getting guys in receiver spots to help each other out. It's going to be a really interesting uh, chess match in this one. I did also get to catch up with head coach Mick Conlon. Let's hear what Mick had to say. I'm going to hear from Nothing But Net Media, and I'm with Gold Coast Rollers head coach Mick Conlon. Mick, it's grand finals. I know this has been the goal all season. How's it feel to be here? Uh, good. It's great to finally be here too. It's been a while for myself. Um, get back here, mate, as an assistant coach. That's been like a decade, but um, really looking forward to the weekend. 
you had an extra week of preparation. It's an odd thing. Never really. I, I haven't seen it in the QBL before. How has that affected the prep? Um, nothing really. I gave him gave him a night off, and then we got back into it as usual. Tried to keep everything as usual because uh, we've had a bit of success towards the end of the year, and we played better as we've gone. So we try to keep it as usual as possible. I know, obviously, it's a tall task. Brisbane coming in with the one loss, but doing your preparations, what have you seen, and what do you think are the keys for you guys to come in and, and win a championship? Um, I think beating them up inside, trying to make them play uh, a slower tempo. Trying to limit what Jason's going to do. He's a hell of a player. He's MVP of the league for a reason. He's a class above. So if we can limit him, limit Aaron, and really put some heat on Will, um, try to make the other players beat us. I know uh, the performance from the team was awesome last week, uh, excuse me, two weeks ago on the defensive side of things. Is that a key for you as well in this series? Yeah, everything. Defense wins championships, and we've been working on it all year really hard, and the boys have really let me hammer them on that and coach them on it. Uh, this is a really special group, so... Hopefully they're ready for it. They're really keen, and they, they, I think they're confident too. I know you talked about defense, uh, but offensively, what do you expect and what do you need from your team to win? Um, they're going to let us – I think they're going to let us play at our tempo. They're going to double the post and things like that, but we're going to try and force the ball inside as well, and that's our advantage is to play slower and pump the ball inside, and I think their, their advantage is to get out in transition and bang up a bunch of threes. So if we can stop that, we'll, we'll be in a, in a good spot. Awesome, Mick. Good luck, and uh, congrats for making it here. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. That was Rollers head coach Mick Conlon. Got to thank both coaches for having an opportunity to speak to both of them before the game. Mick Conlon wants to play physical. He wants to look to play inside out. What do you think about that approach for the Rollers in this matchup? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, I think you know, Mick, Mick's a pretty old school and a, a, a style of coach, and I mean, I don't mean that disrespectfully. I mean, uh, you know, likes it simple good physicality inside outside basketball share the ball so I'm looking uh, I think that would certainly be a, he's looking to exert the physicality early on maybe a little early fireworks in the first quarter here's the Australian national anthem Another nice rendition of the Australian National Anthem. Always gives you a bit of goosebumps, doesn't it, before a game, but a grand final game with a great crowd, Dave. you got to be feeling the, the tingles everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is at capacity, which I've uh, been told is 650, or that, or, that it, or that certainly is the number if the Queensland Fire Service is interested, um, which is a bit disappointing because it's as big as we can get here in Brisbane. And... Uh, you know, we'll talk a little bit later, Johnny. I wanted to discuss maybe some venue stuff moving forward, right? Okay, we can the, do that, of course. So, but uh, you know, back to the to Mick Collins' uh, approach. I think I think certainly physical, and the first quarter will be really interesting to see how both teams, um, you know, take it to each other. How the referees officiate it, and you know, if you see a little bit early foul trouble, really could shift the the series in one team's favour. Yeah, we, we talked a little bit about it before uh, or after and during the Rockhampton game. Called it quite tight. I was talking to Coach Conlon before the game, and he expects the referees to let him play a little more physical being the grand final series. If it is a physical game, who do you think that favors, Dave? Well, I actually think uh, it, it's a pretty 50-50 for me too because wh wh where there's wh what I think Gold Coast has got to be careful of is getting into being focused too, on the, too much on the physicality and maybe then getting caught up in the speed of Brisbane. And I think that Brisbane's a little more suited to be, play quicker. And I think they, you know, they want to be in that 100 plus. And I think Gold Coast would be very happy in the 70 to 80 range. Of course, and yeah. So I think that'll be really interesting to see how the pace of the, uh, the, the series plays out.
Now, one thing I didn't get to ask Coach Collin about, but you and I have been talking about it during the week, Spencer Parker hasn't had the offensive output uh, that he had in the, during the regular season. He's had a quiet finals. Can Gold Coast win a championship with Spencer Parker struggling offensively? Well, my, my mail is he broke his finger about a month ago, and he's been uh, dealing with that since. So that obviously would impact his shooting, but, you know, still a 23-point-per-game guy. And I, I, I agree, he, he's been, you know, quiet the last few weeks. And uh, so hopefully for the Gold Coast fans, his, his fingers come good now because that, that injury is a few weeks old from what I hear. And, uh, you know, they, they'll, they'll need him for me. They, they really need Rose and Parker to be big for them. How, how do you expect uh, Capitals to, de to defend Spencer Parker and, and LJ Rose? Well, I think I think if I know I know that mail, then I think Sam McKinnon will know the mail. And uh, so you know, if he drove near me, I'd probably give him his hand, a nice little test, see how that finger is. And I can, you know, guys know that stuff. And uh, equally, I think you want to try and make him a driver and, and send him into the paint where there's, you know, Magne and Volkman and, and Co. Um, because if he just is, if he's catch and shoot, he's quite comfortable there, and uh, you don't want him getting comfortable. Dave, I always put you on the spot. What's your prediction for tonight's game? Predict there'll be a winner. <laughs> Come on. Dan George isn't here to sit on the I, fence, no, so I, you can't take I, over. No, I don't, I don't like the on, the on the air predictions, Johnny. I'll give you one off the air later, okay? All we'll right. See we well, go. let us know in the comments if All you right. are tuned in and you are watching tonight uh, who you think is going to win and what you expect the outcome to be. And also, you know, let us know where you're watching from tonight. So uh, we can make sure we get you a shout out. Referees for tonight's game. Crew chief is Mark Mill, and the umpires are Alex McEwen and Daryl Millard. So a veteran crew here on the grand final stage for the QBL as both teams hit the court. Brisbane in their home blues, and the rollers in their road whites. This is going to be an amazing game. I cannot wait for this, Dave. Fourth grand finals, and, uh, and um, I got the goosebumps. I'm not even suiting up. Yeah, it's great. Terrific. I think, uh, you know, it's been a really good story, too, for Brisbane, who's been clearly the best team all, all season, and uh, Gold Coast, who have been right there as well. So, uh, you know, really interesting, especially, too. Uh, I'm a little bit biased. Good to see two Southern teams in the final, huh? I promise I won't say any more about the whole North-South, Johnny, OK? Thank you. You've used your quota already. Righto. Brisbane first possession, and Magne puts it down with two hands. Nice screen and roll action. Good sign for the Caps on that first well, possession. Yeah, great sign, but uh, pretty alarming sign defensively from Gold Coast, who just let him get a catch wherever he wanted the ball. Kopskis gets the Parker assignment. Parker kicks it for Green in the corner. Three, rattles home. Dalo Green, the ageless one. The first points for the Rollers in the grand finals. Got to give a shout out to uh, Townsville Heat head coach Rodney Anderson watching from the lounge room up in the Ville. Here's Aaron Anderson. He reversed it to Zach Carter in the corner. Threes up off the side of the rim. Magne offensive rebound. Brisbane with another look at the basket. Kade slips up, finds Kops because his corner three is up and down. Free flowing start to this one. Brisbane's up two. Parker gets called for the offensive foul. Extending that arm to clear some space as Kopskis was harassing him defensively. And that's what uh, you're going to get from Brisbane, a steady dose of them all night. I think uh, Kobe Wilson's in uniform, but I, I'm not, I, my, uh, I hear the shoulder's not great. And I'm not, not sure if he's able to play, but he's certainly suited up, which is a positive sign. There's but, that uh, double team on Kadi that we talked about in the pregame as Carter puts it on the floor. He lays it up and in. Zach Carter looking aggressive to start this one. Yeah. I was just going to say, Johnny, that's that's the benefit of the Brisbane's guards where, you know, they've got the Anderson, Kopsika, Stoddard, Wilson coming at you. Dalo Green again will open for three off the front of the rim. Zach Carter, defensive rebound. Here's Kadi, splits the defense, kicks it out. He's open for three. He'll fire off the side of the rim. But that's a dangerous sign there for Gold Coast. That was too open for Jason Kadi. Martin with the nice pump fake, lost it on the way up. Kadi 
Well, uh, Martin certainly <laughs> faked him out of his shoes. I think he faked but, the whole uh, crowd out. But uh, he came out the last laugh with a, a great steal. I don't know how he stole the ball. And he did. Splits the defense, leaves his feet out to Carter. Wing three up off the back of the rim. Well, Seems like Gold Coast happy to let go, uh, Brisbane shoot from deep. Yeah, they are. And again, they too much middle penetration early on here for the Caps as far as the... Good penetration from Parker. He missed. Good contest from Magne. Carter again from the opposite wing fires. That's good for Zach Carter. It's a three. Brisbane's up seven. Brisbane spacing the floor really well early on, and Gold Coast just miscommunicating on some assignments. Couple, leaving a couple of guys open. Gonna have to clean that up. 10-3 the lead here for the Capitals in game one of the QBL Grand Final Series. Anderson working against Martin, finds Carter in the corner, fires another three, that's good as well. Back-to-back -back threes for Zach Carter, the lead's 10 for Brisbane. Here's Parker. Reversing the ball, looking inside for Job. Job goes right at the defense. Turnaround jump shot's good. <laughs> Not sure if they called a foul. We heard the whistle. No, I think that was uh, a little bit of a settler, maybe. But, uh, you know, I really want to see them involve TJ tonight a bit, bit more. Um, we had the quarterfinal. And I think, you know, just not enough touches, not enough minutes for me. But, um, yeah, again, TJ makes a great move. Unfortunately, he was coming out. Magne, hook shot, air ball. Carter rebound, and he's fouled from behind. Zach Carter, very active to start this game on a great sign for the Capitals to start out the grand finals. Yeah, Carter's been really good in this first few minutes. Christian Salicic going to check in. Eight early points for Zach Carter. Thalo Green getting a breather. Carter on the season, shooting at 64% from the free throw line. It's the first. Brisbane's done a good job of uh, their starts the last few weeks in particular, Johnny, haven't they? I mean, shooting the ball well again. They're looking at a, they're looking at a 30 point quarter on track four, and uh, that's the pace they're after. You know, they get that 100 to 120. I think uh, they're going to they're going to win a lot. Petrie, if that's the case, dumps it off. Parker lays it in. Good look there from the recently checked in Anthony Petrie. Magne again gets inside against Salicic, lays it in. Good recognition there from Magne. Too small. Salicic steps open and drains a three. But then he gives that one right back into Carter's face. Big three from Salicic. He's been good the last few weeks as well. Coming in, give him good minutes. And gets a hand on the ball, tips it out of bounds. Does Christian Salicic. Going to see Ben Wilson for the first time tonight checking in for Anthony Kopskis. Anderson inbounds for Magne, swatted by Petrie. Here comes Gold Coast on the run. Rose loses it out of bounds. It went off the hands of a Capitals player. I like that. I like the block, but I, I actually like... You know, Petrie goes and gives him one, and, and now it's be interesting to see how Magne responds. I hope he doesn't back down, that's for sure. Salicic has it now. Gets at the elbow, fires a jump shot. Off the front of the rim, Magne defensive rebound. Not a bad look, though, and you'd like Salicic taking that yeah, one. Yeah, but four white jerseys watching. No one on the glass. Anderson looking inside. Magne's got Salicic guarding him in the block. He skips it out for Aaron Anderson. Reverses it. Carter wing three up off the side of the rim. Ben Wilson offensive rebound. Anderson going to fire a three, and he's fouled by Reese Carter. 
It's the third team foul on the Gold Coast, and Aaron Anderson, a nearly 90% free throw shooter, is going to go to the free throw line for three shots. Volkman checks in for Brisbane. And Eustace checks in for Gold Coast. Aaron Anderson at the free throw line for three shots. Anderson hits the first two. Pretty good Gold Coast uh, following here tonight as well, Dave. Nice to see the Rollers fans traveling up the, the M1. Yeah, I think they were. Was there, was, did I hear correct? There was a bit of complaints because they couldn't get access to a lot of tickets, but uh, good to see the Gold Coast crew up here. Anderson hits all three. Caps back up by 10. Nice little press action here from the Caps. Midway through the first quarter. Parker kicks it out. Rose is open. Top of the key three off the side of the rim. Anderson chases down the defensive rebound. Yeah, good look for Rose. Anderson dumps it off. Volkman met at the rim and fouled. That one's against Parker, it looks like. Volkman will go to the free throw line for a couple shots. That one's going to go against Eustace. The fourth team foul on the Gold Coast here. Zero against Brisbane so far. Well, again, Brisbane's doing a great job of attacking. Beating their man to the middle. Anderson putting Eustace on skates and a great little pocket pass. Got to give a shout out to our guy, Paul Foster, checking in. Volkman misses them both. Magne gets an offensive rebound, and Brisbane doing a... Bit of a number on the glass, on the, especially on the offensive end. Anderson skips it out. Magnes open. He'll fire a three. It's an air ball. Volkman nah, recovers. Reverse a, layup is was, good. It was always a pass. Funny. It was a great baseline pass, mate. Good baseline pass there for Magne to Volkman. Mick Conlon's going to take a timeout. We'll take one as well. 22-10 caps up on the rollers. With 3.42 to go in the first of game one of the QBL Grand Final Series brought to you by Nothing But Net Media. Back with you here at Auchenflower Basketball Stadium. Really good start for the Brisbane Capitals. 22-10, they're doing it a bit of everywhere from outside and inside, and I'm surprised, Dave, to see them doing such work on the offensive glass. Yeah, they are, and I think uh, they've always, you know, not that they've got a massive size advantage, but I just think there's a little bit of a size advantage to Brisbane. Um, and just the simple things. Gold, Goldies do a bit, got to do a better job moving their feet, keeping keeping people out of the middle, and then they've got to finish the defensive effort and with a good box out. Good time out there by Coach Conlon, resetting the team. Rose has it, skips it over to Eustace. Now Parker has it with nine on the shot clock. Looks over to the corner for Petrie. Skip pass is too strong. That's going to be a turnover for the Gold Coast. Petrie saying it went off the caps. Referee Mark Mill and Alex McEwen having a chat along the sideline. They're going to change the call, and they're going to say it's Gold Coast ball with three seconds to go on the shot clock. The Gold Coast faithful tip <laughs> their cap to the referee crew. <laughs> uh. Petrie yeah. catches, shoots from the wing. It's an air ball. That one goes out of bounds. 
So, yeah, that's the, the result Cole yeah, Coe's wanted. Five offensive rebounds in this first quarter, Johnny. 10-3 advantage to start this first quarter. Anderson reverses it to Kadi. He'll step into a top of the key three off the back of the rim. Rose with the rebound. Gold Coast looking to run a bit. Salicic open, wing three is up. That's off the side of the rim. And here comes Aaron Anderson. He's gonna reset and hand off for Jason Kadi, the MVP of the QBL competition. He leaves his feet inside for Magne to lay it in. That's a great look there from Jason Kadi to Will Magne. Yeah, and uh, we, you know, we saw that against Creighton when he was playing for the Bullets. His ability to read that pick and roll and has, has been terrific. Petrie misses well short again. Wilson has it. Now Anderson for Brisbane, hands off for Kadi. Open to lane to the basket, reverse layup is good. To all Brisbane here in the first quarter, they're up 16. Well, Coach Conlon turned to his assistant coaches looking for some ideas, and he's going to go to TJ Diop here and see what he can do offensively. Rose Flutter well short. Bit of a zone for the Caps also. Different look from Brisbane for the Gold Coast. Yeah, but just offensively, you know, no one's on the glass. I don't see great energy here from, from the boys in white. Aaron Anderson sent the Capitals offense. Guarded by Rose. Got six on the shot clock. Looking for the horn set. He'll fire a deep three. It's up off the back of the rim. Ben Wilson, offensive rebound. Cadiz three. In and out. LJ Rose has it. Well, that could have taken that, the roof that, off this place. That would have really, really hurt. Parker gets inside. He's blocked, but there's a foul. Looks like that one's going to go against Ben Volkman. Going to send Spencer Parker to the free throw line for a couple shots. Nice, simple offense from Gold Coast, and that's what they need. Parker's got to get involved. Wilson checks out. Nick Stoddard in for the first time tonight. Key for the, for, you know, for Goldie is Rose and him. They've just got to create some offense. Big uh, basketball Queensland QBL news today. Wade Rubetsky leaving Mackay to take over the jam spot in Rockhampton. Oh. So congrats to uh, Wade on, on the new gig. Just, you know, hop, skip, and a jump. Parker hits a free throw. Thalo Green checks back in. Going to give Spencer Parker a breather. Gold Coast down 15. Twenty-six, eleven. We've got about a minute, fifteen to go in the first quarter. Magne hands it off for Stoddart. Kadi back to Stoddart. Stoddart puts it on the floor. Euro steps. Right hand shot is good. That's a beautiful move there from Nick Stoddart with their offhand. Here's Rose getting in the paint, nice. picks it up, hits the bucket plus the foul. Huge bucket there for the Gold Coast and a nice take by LJ Rose. Yeah, terrific move. Just what the doctor ordered. And Rose on the season, a 77% free throw shooter. And as, as Will Magnate continues to evolve as a as an up-and-coming basketball player, he's got to learn to stay down, too, on the, some of those guards and not fall for the pump fakes. Well, how's he going to average 3.4 well, uh, blocks a well, game if he doesn't leave his feet, Dave? He, he's got to pick his moments. I, I, don't, I love the block, but I'm just saying, this is how you got to keep evolving, and sometimes you stay down and sometimes you send it into the fourth row. Well, he's done uh, plenty of both uh, this <laughs> yeah. season. As Volkman skips it out, Stoddart reverses it. Kadi winds up with it. He's in the paint. Between his leg dribble, jump shot is good. That's a beautiful sequence there from Jason Kadi. Well, now they're just showing off. LJ Rose jumper is good. He's starting to heat up a bit for the Gold Coast. And a good sign for the Rollers. Caps, though, can hold for the final shot of the first quarter, up 14. Just even if you notice here, Johnny going to the break, look at the defensive torque and energy from the Goldie boys. Anderson skips it, Cadiz open, fires a deep three, in and out. Volkman follow no good. 
Anderson winds up with it, puts the shot up and short. And that's going to end the first quarter in a very good first quarter for the Brisbane Capitals. They're up 14, Dave. Really impressive performance for the number one seed. Yeah, it certainly was. Probably the, the best part was uh, their, their spacing has been exquisite and their patience offensively has been just as good. Um, and defensively, they're doing a really good job, I think, down the other end. So great start for Brisbane and for Goldie, a little bit of work to do. It's the end of the quarter. We'll take a break. We'll come back with some statistics in the second quarter of action here in QBL Men's Grand Final Game 1. Action brought to you by Nothing But Net Media. Back with you here at Auchenflower Basketball Stadium for the start of the second quarter. It was all Brisbane Capitals there to start the first and to start the game. LJ Rose started to heat up a little bit towards the end of the quarter, though, Dave. Got uh, Gold Coast back within 14. Yeah, he did. I think, uh, again, you know, that, that's what Gold Coast is going to need is their two imports to do their thing and uh, look for Park and Rose to, you know, again, get it within the offense too so you know they don't need to get back in the game in the next two minutes they just got to be patient offensively I want to see some better energy from them hitting the glass but then defensively again getting in stance a bit more talk you know they just need a bit more enthusiasm what do you see on the box score Dave in the end of the first quarter well for the Capitales it doesn't get any better 45 percent shooting Plus 12 on the rebound, zero turnovers. Like, great start. Gold Coast wanted Anderson out of bounds. They didn't get it. Now Caps have it. Anderson inside pass, stolen by Job. That's Much nice better. hands. Much better attitude and, again, intensity from the Gold Coast rollers defensively here. Job from the elbow, fires all and hits. All day. TJ Job will take that all day, like you said, Dave. He can hit the jump shot. And all he needs to see is one. 12-point game here. Skadi comes off the Magne screen, kicks it for Carter in the corner, three up. Air ball, but there's a foul inside. Because it's got to be disciplined, too, as they chip back, chip back this Brisbane lead. It's going to go against TJ Job. I mean, I'm not saying Magne is easy to handle. I'm just saying. He's definitely not easy to handle inside. It's a good matchup and a good battle between Jop and Magne. Yeah. Anderson will inbound for Magne. He's blocked, but fouled before the block. It's going to go against Dalo Green, the second team foul against the Gold Coast, and Magne is going to go to the free throw line for two shots. Great out of bounds. Just puts such pressure on. Good screen from Carter. Uh, the, on the first screen, and then Magne came off his back. Very uh, vocal Gold Coast uh, yeah. fans here I just, tonight. I, I missed, I missed the intricacies of the abuse towards the referee, but so I can't help our well, fans. I out. talked to uh, Mark Mill before the game. He says he loves it. I mean, <laughs> what's not to love about it? I guess, all right? They're just passionate supporters. That's it. Gotta love the passion. And uh, I think it's awesome that the Gold Coast fans have traveled up here. And, and they're making noise in the away stadium as Green gets inside. Left hand oh. misses. Job misses the follow. Magne sends it back. Kadi recovers with the caps up 13. Kadi reverses it for Magne. Hands off. Carter's open. He'll fire at top of the key three. That's good for Zach Carter. Bit of home cooking here for Zach. He's on fire tonight. 
Yeah. 13 first, uh, first half points here for Zach Carter on this big lead for Brisbane. Parker hands off, Jop on the baseline, misses strong. Carter grabs the rebound. TJ Jop has had a few good looks at the basket. Brisbane up by 16. Kadeen nearly lost it, recovers, gets in the paint, throws it up for Magna to put it down. Those two really have a, had a great connection all season. And if you're a Brisbane Bullets fan, you got to hope that carries over into the NBL. Yeah, they really have. And uh, Kitty just, you know, great handle. Tried to split the, the pick and roll. Lost it, but got it back. And just that great change of, of uh, pace. Parker's three is strong. Phalo Green offensive nice. rebound. Put back and the foul. Great job. Phalo Green doing some work on the glass for the Goldie. And again, you know, goalies just got to be patient. They've got another timeout. Probably look to call that around the three and a half minute mark. And if, if I'm heading into that three and a half minute mark and I'll go to under 10, I'm pretty happy. Eight to 10 would be a great if I can, if any better. But, uh, you know, again, we don't, you don't win the game in the first quarter. And that's what Coach Conlon will be telling his crew. Thaler Green missed the free throw. Equally, Gold Coast has got to do a little bit more of that. Go get those offensive. Nice look. Phalo Green gets called for the goal 10. That was a great backdoor pass from Wilson to a cutting. Jason Kadee. Caps just can't really take them. They haven't taken a misstep so far in this game as Phalo Green again finishes with the left hand. It's throwback Phalo night. Yeah. Magne going right at the defense, picks up his dribble. He'll fire a jump shot, and he's fouled there by Jop again. I think that's yeah, TJ's two, third. Well, I think second. That's yeah. his second personal. Third team foul on the Gold Coast. Petrie checks back in. Magne will go to the line for a couple. He's one of two so far ready for the evening from the free throw line. Hits the first. Don't forget if you are tuning in on the Facebook or the YouTube channels, let us know who you are, where you're watching from, so we get you a shout out as Magna hits them both. His team back up by 18. Big Faz up in Townsville, loving it. Martin throws it off the foot of Stoddart. Reese Martin gets inside, lost it on the way in. Out of bounds off of Martin. Good defense there from Stoddart. Really nice pressure on the ball. Well, Stoddy's uh, stepped into Cobby Wilson's minutes. And uh, again, I think the shoulder's probably no good, but disappointing for Wilson. But again, Stoddart has come straight in. Carter has it working against Reese Martin. Spins away from him and lays it in. This is a vintage Zach Carter wow. performance here in the first half. And Coach Conlon's going to call a timeout now. Halo Green kicks it out for Petrie. Petrie looking for the handoff. Gets it to Eustace who fires the wing three in and out. Rebound to Zach Carter. D guarded by Thalo Green, steps back, fires the three, it's short. Here comes Parker now with it for the Gold Coast. Puts on a head of steam, layup no good, but he's fouled. Looks like that one's gonna go against Magne, and if it is, that's gonna be his second as well. And immediately Coach McKinnon goes to the bench and Volkman gonna check in. But it looks like Coach Conlon's gonna take his last time out of the half, so we'll take one as well. 42-22, Brisbane up by 20, under six to go in the first half of your men's QBL Grand Final Game 1 presented to you by Nothing But Net Media.
Back with you here at Alkin Flower Basketball Stadium. Coach Conlon taking his last time out of the half with his team down 20. And Spencer Parker at the free throw line for two shots. Pretty good time out there from Coach Conlon. Doesn't want to let this one slip away. His team's down 20. It's still a fairly re reasonable margin, but yeah. they're teetering at the moment. I think he would have tried to hope to limp to that three and a half minute mark, but uh, he decided that he needed to have a little bit of a inspirational chat. A little bit of a course correct, defensively, offensively. Really, you know, really be nice if uh, the likes of Jared Eustace and Salicic can come in and give him a nice spark off the bench. Got a few uh, shout outs here, Dave. We've got an ex Capitals fan. Didn't tell us his name. It says the Weasel on uh, the YouTube channel watching from Rockhampton. Bar McGinnis tuning in live from Sydney. Laura from Indurapilly also tuning in. A few. Uh, Rollers and Cavs fans, and also have Dale Riley, Dale Ryan tuning in live uh, from Valencia, Spain. Big Daisy. Short jumper is good for Jaden Tom. He, did he, he just he just messaged us so he could tell us that he's calling in from Valencia, didn't he? That I think so. Yeah. But appreciate the love, Dale. Stoddart gets inside, tries to euro step around. Volkman recovers, lays it up and in. Stoddard is, uh, you know, we, you, you know we muck around with him, right? Play on the on Wednesdays, and the boys and I joke he's like the fastest old man or the oldest fastest man or something. Petrie hits a big three. He, he is Stoddard is so deceptive with his handles and dribble. He's incredible. Well, he's had a great season, and we see uh, Kobe Wilson getting set to check in for his first minutes along with Aaron Anderson. Ben Wilson nearly lost it. He recovers, skips it to Nick Stoddart. Driving baseline, good deny from Eustace. He dumps it off for Volkman. Volkman dump pass is stolen by Reese Martin. Uh, he's got to get his mitts up, mate. Cart, um, Volkman, get your hands up, ready to receive the ball. Parker putting it on the floor, kicks it. Tom will fire another jump shot. That's good as well. There you go. And Coach McKinnon going to take a timeout. This Gold Coast has cut the deficit to 14. Let's keep it here, though, Dave. Pretty good little run here, and it's led by Jaden Tom coming yeah. in off the bench. I love the unsung heroes who come in and make an impact. Tom couple of, hitting a couple of jump shots, and I think they've got that off the back of good penetrating pitch twice. And uh, Sam McKinnon gives him a little timeout. Good timeout there yeah, from the Caps just have a as well. Chat about that. A couple of sloppy possessions for Brisbane on the offensive end. A couple of turnovers and Gold Coast doing a good job pushing it down court and, and capitalizing on it. Yeah, I think, um, you know, the challenge with Brisbane, we've seen them play a few times. Sometimes they don't get cocky per se, but they get a little sloppy. That's probably a good word, where they play pretty loose. And, you know, Coach McKinnon's given them pretty good instructions on how to, on how to, to roll, but he lets them free, lets them operate. And um, you know, I, I like the Stoddard drive. If Volkman had his hands up, it was a layup. So they just got to, you know, again, focus. Instead of looking at the scoreboard and feeling good about themselves, just keep challenging themselves to building that lead and, and building the control and turning up the pressure. So Gold, Coast, so Gold Coast keep looking at the scoreboard and then they start forcing stuff. Dave, we got a few more shout outs to give. James from Brisbane tuning in on YouTube. Andrew Thomas, loving the coverage. We appreciate that. Tomo uh, watching live in Singapore. Man, we're, we're international here. Oh, uh, yeah, good old Got to love the internet. Got Michael from the Gold Coast also. Got to give a shout out to uh, Lauren's group, uh, group of girls watching from Camp Hill. Big Capitals fans. Justine uh, as well tuning in. A lot of Caps fans on. Uh, on the live stream, what, how come the Caps fans aren't here? There's plenty of plenty of them here. Well, it's a little bit capped, isn't it? The uh, no pun intended with the crowd, unfortunately. So it looks like a sellout, that's for sure. They've got in the extra stands here at Auckland Flower. Offensive foul called. A moving screen. It looks like against Jaden Tom. Coach Conlon didn't like it. Alex McEwen gonna give the Gold Coast bench a, a warning. Yeah, I'd kind of like to see it again. It looked like there was a fair bit of contact before the screen. Nonetheless, it's a turnover for the Gold Coast. Their fourth team foul as well. We've got 3.45 to go in the first half. It's a 14-point Capitals lead. 
Kadeen comes off the screen, hands off. Nice. Anderson fires a three. Great action. The... Nice little variation there from the Caps. Parker flutter is good, plus the foul. Spencer Parker and the Gold Coast Rollers have certainly picked up the pace here. Got to give a shout out to our guy, Wayne Moore. Always looking after us, we appreciate it, Wayne. And he's pretty pumped because his team's up by 12, but he'd be a little nervous in the caps. Seem a little nervous here as Gold Coast Mountain a bit of a comeback. We, well, it feels like a comeback, but it's only a plus one this quarter, Johnny. So what's positive is they've held Brisbane to, 15, to 14 points. That's the most important part. And uh, as you say, Brisbane's still executing well. They've just missed a couple of shots. It's an 11-point Capitals lead as Kadi dumps off for Volkman. Puts it up, no good. Tipped around, out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Capitals. As Magne and Carter check back in for the Capitals. Wilson and Volkman going to get a breather. Well, it's pretty handy. It's pretty handy when you send in the guys that have 28 points so far this half in Volkman and Magne. And uh, what they just got to be careful is not to pick up that third foul on Magne. Kadee guarded by Parker. There's seven on the shot clock. Kadee skips it. Kobe Wilson fires a three off the front of the rim. Here comes the Gold Coast. They could get within single digits with the score on this one. Martin, triple team, spins through it, finds Tom open. Baseline jumper is good. Jaden Tom cuts the deficit to nine. Well, just some great jump shot, jump shooting. And uh, again, they've done it with that penetration. Carter kicks it. Kobe Wilson gets it back to Carter. Wing three up. That's an air ball. The Gold Coast crowd is into this one, Dave. The momentum has certainly swung the rollers way. Yeah. Well, it's a pretty vocal Gold Coast crowd. Not much from the Caps fans. Petrie has it looking inside. Parker double teamed. He Spins away from it, gets it back out to Martin. Seven on the shot clock. Parker gets it baseline, kicks it, it's tipped out of bounds off of Brisbane. Going to stay with the Gold Coast. They've got four seconds to go on the shot clock. Let's get another Jaden Tom jump shot, hey? Hey, it's working. <laughs> Why not? Ben Wilson going to check in for Kobe Wilson. As LJ Rose gets set to inbound. Petrie catches it, working against Kadi. Picks up his dribble, jump shot, no good. Tipped around. Petrie offensive rebound, put back is short, and Magne grabs the defensive rebound. Couple good, good looks there. Yeah, good signs for the Gold Coast because, uh, again, just great, just a lot better energy. Magne keeps it nice and high and finishes, pushing the lead back out to 11 for Brisbane. He's spot on, Johnny, for those youngsters out there. Keep the ball high. Ah, oh, Rose, a little too strong there for Petrie. Turnover there for the Gold Coast. Salicic checks back in for Reese Martin. Approaching a minute 30 to go here in the half as Carter fires a corner three. Off the side of the rim, Salicic lost it. And then there's a, not sure, it looks like it's going to be a foul against Petrie as Anderson stole the rebound. Then Petrie fouled him. And that's the fifth team foul on Gold Coast. They sent Aaron Anderson to the free throw line for two shots. And Diop has to check in for Petrie. A little, little weird, little weird I think weird that was one. the third. No, no, that's, well, they just held up Peaches first. Oh, okay, I thought I saw a three. But, I must but, be seeing things. But TJ has two, and Peach, you need him in the game. And, I, you know, he just had a great move, good offensive rebound, put back, missed it. But uh, kind of a weird one for me. A few more shout-outs. Jason Sutherland tuning in from Gippsland. Kieran Osborne tuning in from Tennessee. Grant Patrickson tuning in from China. I love it. Must be there for the World Cup. Go Boomers. How good's uh, Dal Where's Dallas from, Johnny? I don't up know, at, but up Rocky away? Says he used to travel on the bus and train with Thalo back yeah. in Rockhampton no, in 2003. I, yeah, yeah, I played. Uh, that was. I remember playing against Thalo in 03 for Rocky. He was a bit of a star. Oh, he's, he's still doing work here in the QBL. 
15, 16 years yeah. later. Here's LJ Rose, five on the shot clock, has to fire a jumper, Ooh. it's good. Good hand, but just better, too good offense. Yeah, LJ Rose has been excellent here in the first half. His team's down 11, we've got under a minute to go in the first half. Oh, they missed Magna under the rim. Wilson dumps it off and Magna hammers it home. Didn't miss him that time. Nice little fight back here in the last couple of minutes for Brisbane. They were down five this quarter. And now uh, got that lead back up to 13. Parker's jumper rattles home. Gold Coast would love a stop here, yeah. and they're going to get Zach Carter for the offensive foul. Yeah, just a bit of a silly one. Fourth team foul on Brisbane. Nice sub here from Coach McKinnon to get out Magna. He doesn't want him to get that third. My uh, controller has crashed, so bear with me as I try and get myself reset here. The scoring clock is, well, the clock at the moment is certainly not up to date. 50-39 with 13 on the clock. Jumper there again from Tom. And Tom thinks he's Dirk Nowitzki. 50-41 now. Jumper from Cadiz off. Tom grabs the rebound. And that's going to do it for the half as the Gold Coast pull back to within single digits, 50-41. to 41. Really nice. Come back there for Gold Coast. We commented that the deficit was at 20. We thought it might pull away, but Gold Coast responded and responded well to get it within single digits at the half, Dave. Well, they did, and they got it from a bit of an unlikely hero in Tom, who uh, made four great jump shots, got some good uh, defensive rebounds, and uh, they go into the sheds feeling a lot better about themselves. Really good first half of action. We'll take a break. We'll come back with some statistics. End the second half of action here as the Brisbane Capitals lead the Gold Coast Rollers 50 to 41 at halftime of your men's QBL Grand Final Game 1 brought to you by Nothing But Net Media.
Back with you here at Auchinflower Basketball Stadium. It's halftime, and the Brisbane Capitals are up 9, 50-41. A furious comeback by the Rollers to get themselves back within 9. Dave, really good first half of action. Brisbane got off to a dream start, really. If but if you ask them, that's exactly what they would have liked to do. Yeah, and it's interesting if they, if, uh, I'm not going to, I guess the coaches might not tell us, but um, if, for me, they kind of let, let Carter a little bit open. Uh, he hasn't shot the ball super duper this season, a little inconsistent, but he's been terrific early. So they might have to make that adjustment. And again, you know, Brisbane's, Brisbane's up nine and Cadiz only got six points. So, um, and, and, you know, what's the, what's the average, Johnny, 20, 26 or something? 25.3 so, for um, the MVP. Yeah. So I think, um, you know, that's good signs for Gold Coast. And uh, I think, you know, offensively, Goldie's struggling just to get good, good looks, you know. And when you're, and you're, when you're not getting good looks, you either need to go get some offensive rebounds, you need to get at the foul line, which they're actually the second best team averaging 15 free throws a game. So they've got to do that. Um, and then equally, they need, they need to get some cheap ones because they're actually the number one team points off turnover and they're not creating turnovers tonight. Well, let's see. The Gold Coast turned the ball over a bit, uh, but they did a much better job in that second uh, period to kind of control the ball. And I thought they were something that you touched on in the first quarter. Their energy wasn't really there to start the game, but certainly were super energetic in that second quarter. Yeah, I think they, that, that's where they need to be. That's for sure. Uh, be interesting to see... You know what? What Gold Coast team turns up for the third quarter? And again, we've we've called them a couple times this year. Um, you know, Rocky, and um, that was earlier in the year. But for me, they've been a little hot and cold, and so and I think it's perfectly um, you know demonstrated by the first quarter to the second quarter. So we'll just see what what Gold Coast group comes out here in this third quarter. And and equally for Brisbane, they got outplayed in that second quarter. So I'm sure Coach McKinnon will get back to the game plan. A little more KD action, I think, offensively looking for his shot. I think he distributed the ball really well. Might just need to look for the ball a little bit more. Want to give a few more shout-outs on the YouTube. We've got Donda Roberts Parker, Spencer Parker's mom watching from the States. Also have uh, Dallas watching from Ormo Hills, looking for a roller's comeback. Uh, who else do we got in here? Paul, Paul Hicks, who uh, he's torn because he coached with Mick, but also coached Nick Stoddart. Andrew Waite says, let's go, Rollers. Chris Crawford tuning in from the Gold Coast, but he wants a Brisbane win. What's up with that? Jasper uh, Freitag says, the Gold Coast big men are sharpshooters, Dave. What do you think about that? Well, he's looking like a sharpshooter. Yeah. I can't dispute that. Paul uh, Kopskis uh, says, come on, Caps. Anthony's dad says to bring him a win. Mark Johnson, Michael DeVitt for Logan, <laughs> their QBL coach. Bit of fun having uh, as Magnes fouled on the first possession of the second half. He's going to go to the free throw line. What are you, what are you laughing at, Johnny? Hey, this guy, Michael DeVitt, <laughs> Logan Thunder QBL coach in 2020. He's That's to, a good one. Trying to undercut his, his uh, head What's coach, up with man? that, man? Luke, Luke Can's doing it. Jeez, right. Fiona Carter, James and Fiona watching in from uh, Las Vegas, as always, tuning in for their son, Zach. And uh, Zach had an awesome first half for the Capitals, Dave. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as I said, I'm not sure if that was in the game plan or not, but he certainly capitalized on it, and I think he needs to continue to do the same. If they're going to do that to him, then he needs to punish them like he did in that first half. Magne hits one of two, and it's a 10-point lead for the Capitals. Ball goes out of bounds off of Anderson. It's going to stay with the Gold Coast. 15 seconds to go on the shot clock. Rose inbounding, finds Green inside, flips it up, no good. Magne, a defensive rebound. 10 point Caps lead. KD goes inside, Kopskis can't handle it. Turnover Caps, nice bounce pass ahead for Martin to lay it up and in. It's a great look from Rose. Yeah, and that was, that was the points off turnover like we talked about. Much better energy here from Gold Coast. Anderson reverses it. There's Kopskis firing the three. That's short off the front of the rim. Diop grabs the rebound. 
Couple of nice stops here for Gold Coast. They got some really good momentum carrying over from the first half to the second as Rose steps into a long two. It's off the front of the rim. Thalo Green can't save it from going out of bounds. You know, they, they, had, they held Brisbane to 20 in that, in that second quarter, which is more where they want to be. Gold Coast wants to be, that is. Kadee skips it for Carter in the corner. Gets it back to Jason Kadee. Now Kopskis inside, looks in for Magne to put it down again with two hands. It's a great look there from Kopskis. Yeah, we talked a little bit about their spacing earlier in the game, and they continue to have great spacing. And Gold Coast needs to scramble. Jop with the left hand gets it to fall. TJ Jop using the footwork. 53-45. Look inside. Rose knocks it out of bounds. It's going to be Brisbane ball. Aaron Anderson inbounds to Kadi in the corner. Now Carter works it around to Kopskis. Ten on the shot clock. Kopskis. Dumps it off for Anderson. He'll fire a corner three at short. Diop, another rebound. Here's Martin with it. Rose back to Martin. Long two is up. And good for Reese Martin. The lead is cut to six for the Capitals. 53-47. Yeah. Do the world of good world of good for Martin's confidence again because you know he's been pretty quiet in this one. Anderson jump shot off the back of the rim. Look at the Gold Coast fans in the corner getting up. That was Reese's first shot. Wow. He's been excellent in the finals for them. And then they get Spencer Parker for the travel. Good defense there from Anthony Kopskis. And they, uh, and they thought the Northern crowds were a little restless. <laughs> Goldie, Goldie crew. Yeah. Giving it to the refs. Magne working against Diop. He's double teamed in a bit of trouble. Finds Kadi wide open in Great the corner. <laughs> Woo! Ah, here we go. Now we got the crowd engaged. Thalo Green inside goes behind the back to Reese Martin working against Kadi. He's fouled by Jason Kadi. Reese Martin will go to the free throw line for two shots. I like that. Get Reese Martin in the post. Make Kadee play some defense. It's yeah. a really good option for the Gold Coast. Well, you know, like I said, he got that first one to go down. And, you know, they need, they need him because, again, he's the creativity, the creativity and just the pressure he puts on the defense is, is terrific. And that's when it's going to open up the guys like the Roses and Parkers and Kisalicic's and Eustace's to get some three balls going. Martin goes one of two. Eight-point lead for the Caps. 6.40 to go here in the third quarter. Magne working against Diop. Goes for the step through. Turnaround. Jump shot up. And good. Will Magne showing the full arsenal here. Martin's pass is long. Parker recovers, though. Then has it stolen. Aaron Anderson, oh. layup no good, but that's a foul and a hard one. Anderson, a little shaken up along the baseline. Let's hope he's OK. Don't know if he collided with the stanchion. I didn't see that one. It's a very heavy foul. Let's see what the referees do here. They're going to call it unsportsmanlike against Reese Martin. I think, I think, uh, I don't have a whole lot wrong with the foul. I think because it was in the head is probably where it's lent towards calling uh, unsportsmanlike. I thought he certainly made a play absolutely, at the ball. Absolutely. I, I just don't, I think if Aaron Anderson doesn't clutch his head, it wouldn't have been a, uh, you know, an unsportsmanlike. But, um, you know, again, they, they look for that unnecessary contact. Well, Anderson looks to be okay. He's going to go to the free throw line for a couple of shots. 
Got to give a few shout outs to uh, Sam Legasic cheering on the Gold Coast Rollers. Jack Woodward wants the Caps to win. Jarman uh, says, put Harry on the court. Shout out from the boys in New Zealand. Ernest Anderson, uh, I think that's Aaron's, uh, it's either his brother or his dad, tuning in all the way from the States. Be very happy that um, Aaron's okay. Aaron hit, missed the second one there. But the unsportsmanlike leads to another possession for the Capitals with 6.13 to go. They're up 11. Magne backing down against Diop. There's the double team from Green. Hands off. Kadi fires a three. That's oh. good, plus the foul. Jason Kadi lets the Gold Coast fans know it. Petrie going to check in for TJ Diop. The Caps are up 14. Really interesting, Johnny. I just feel, I feel Brisbane's getting some good energy here in this last couple of minutes. Got the lead back up to 14. I think they've kind of embraced the challenge a little here. And, and uh, you might see that little half-court trap maybe here from Coach McKinnon. Kadi. With the four-point play. And here comes that pressure that you talked about, Dave. Yeah, I just, I just, you know, nice little read here from Coach McKinnon. I think he's got to capitalize on the crowd, capitalize on some stops. Thalo Green open for three, fires it strong. Petrie, offensive rebound. He's going to reset, swings it to Parker. Green again, top of the key three. He'll fire and hit. Dalo Green. He's had a good one tonight also. Yeah, Green's got 10. Kopskis from the corner. That's short. Magne tips it to Anderson. Now Kadi fires a deep three. That's good. Lead out to 15 for Brisbane. Parker working against Kopskis, flips it up and oh. in, plus the foul. What a finish there from Spencer Parker. I don't think Kadi, it didn't look like Kadi did much, but it certainly looked like he did, so understand the foul call. Great take from Parker. Man, this is the latest we've heard at Alkenflower Basketball Stadium in a long time, Dave. It's a very energetic crowd for an awesome game so far. And we so still got another quarter and a half to go. So they should be winning time. Parker's free throw is good. This has been a very slow quarter though, Johnny. <laughs> Five minutes in. Caps have it to D now. Keeping his dribble alive. Step back jumpers oh. up and short. Thalo Green with the rebound. Good old uh, shout out to Tyson Demos. Listen, roll his fan. Petrie's going to get called for the offensive foul. And then they're going to tech foul Petrie as well. I think, I think he's going to give him a warning. But if, but if he looks at him the wrong way, oh no, he got one. So, Give credit to Jason Kadi on that one. He's doing battle, making Petrie work for the position. A lot of banging back and forth. Coach Mick Conlon wants to take a timeout, so we're going to take one as well as Anthony Petrie gets called for the foul and the tech. It's going to send Kadi to the free throw line when we come back from the break as well, Brisbane's up 12.
Back with you here at Alcan Flower Basketball Stadium. Dave, I cut you off before the break. I want to throw it right back well, to you. Well, the, 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 the technical was coming because he gave Daryl Miller a spray on the lack of a over-the-back foul on Magne, which, which Daryl let go. Then on the tech foul after he disputed the call in a fairly provocative fashion, which they do not accept anymore, then uh, there goes the team. Petrie still chatting to the refs. Former Bullets teammates, I believe. Jason Kadeen. Uh, no, uh, was Kadeen here yeah, when Petrie yeah, played? Yeah, yeah. I actually think they're really good mates, too. Yeah. So, so uh, a friendly banter out there. Kadeen was pretty happy to get the call, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, Tyson, you know, Demos has been really, really uh, done a really good job with that Australian Indigenous basketball of late and some terrific stuff there. And I'm pretty familiar with it, helping. Joel Carlu with some stuff over the years, but it's amazing to see it's where where it's gone uh, in the few years that uh, it's been there, and just a couple of tremendous ac accomplishments, not just on the court but in the community as well. So a lot of credit to uh, Tyson yeah. and to and to Joel Kalu for all the work they're doing with yeah, and the Australian Indigenous and obviously, basketball you know, program. Patty, Patty had a lot to do with uh, this this last little component as well. So terrific job from all the boys. Salich Great for the game. Baseline jumper in and out. Petrie tips it up. No good. They need a, I think they need a little offense. I'd like to see a little more Jared Eustace and see what he could do. Cadiz three is well off. Petrie nearly lost it but recovers. Bad shot. It's a heat check. You give that to the MVP. Parker, long jump shot That's is okay. short. I just wanted to let, you, let him know and you that it was a bad shot, right? Hey. You know what, though? I reckon if he had got it again, he'd take it again. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Anderson working his magic. Finds Kopskis, who drives baseline. There's a foul along the baseline, it looks like. And this is where i just like to see a little, you know, Brisbane mix it up a little bit. Pump it in to Magna in the block. Let let Goldie again look to that. They, they look to double team most of the game. And that's when you're going to get a swing, swing into an open three ball for, for one of the Brisbane boys. So Kopskis will go to the free throw line with Gold Coast in the penalty. Kopskis hits the first. They're the number one and number two teams in the league, Johnny, for creating free throws. And uh, ten, six of ten for the, for Goldie. And actually, Brisbane's on par, 14 of 19, so they've done a good job of getting some early points. Or some cheap points, sorry. Leads back out to 15 points here. Kopska takes a seat. Then Wilson checks back in. Petrie goes behind his back. Shows the fake. Hook shot no good. Good move. Trying to draw the foul on Magne. Kadi keeping his dribble alive. Goes right at the defense to lay it in. Jason Kadi, after having a fairly quiet first half, has come alive here in the third. Yeah, well, you knew he wasn't going to finish the game with six, that's for sure, and uh, another turnover here. It's a backcourt violation. Parker threw that one away. Nick Stoddard checks back in. Aaron Anderson going to get a breather, and Jared Eustace looks like he'll check in for the Gold Coast, give Spencer Parker a breather. D inside, Wilson wide open and lays it in. Great look there from Jason Kadi. Yeah, he's done it, he does a really good job of hitting the diver. And Wilson just did his job. Rose will fire a long two off the back of the rim. Goes out of bounds. I right, get it. Need to get it through hands. Down 19. We don't need ISO ball right now for the Gold Coast. Boys. And more importantly in this third quarter, Johnny, they've, they've done a good job of quietening this Gold Coast, the Gold Coast supporter base. Because they were, Goldie were right there. Petrie just picked up a foul, his fourth. He can't believe it. 
Gold Coast is in the penalty. Thalo Green going to check in. Caps going to take another couple free throws here to Will Magne. Magne hits the first. Second is good as well for Magne. Lead is back out now to 21. What a response here from Brisbane in the third. Yeah, good third quarter. They've held Goldie to 13 so far. Rose swatted by Ben Wilson. Not in his house. Not up in here. Yeah, he was. He got a, caught a little bit of Wilson squared action. Cobby moving his feet and Ben cleaning up top. A bit of brotherly love for the Caps. Gold Coast has six on the shot clock. Salichich fires a three. That's short. Offensive rebound, Tom. Rose jumper is good. Seventy-five, fifty-six. A minute forty-five to go in the third. Kadi feeling it, but that one short. I think uh, you know. I know there's some little bit of foul trouble, but TJ has got to be in the game, and as does Reese Martin for me. LJ Rose working against Cubby Wilson. Finds Green, fires the three. It's too strong. Kadi with the defensive rebound. He's start out. He's going to reset. Ben Wilson kicks it for Cobby Wilson. Now Kadi guarded by Eustace. He wants a Volkman screen. He gets it. Kadi splits the defense, kicks it. Start our three is up. In and out. Rose feeling it. He'll fire a three. That's short, but there's a foul on the rebound. Looks like it's going to be against Ben Volkman yeah, on the good, back. Good job from Fowler Green hitting the glass. Good rhythm three for Rose. I mean, you know, you, at, when you're down 20, you got to look, search for something. Green has it. It's going to get back to Rose. 10 on the shot clock here for Gold Coast. Rose skips it. Eustace puts it on the floor from the free throw line. Jumper short. Offensive rebound. Thalo Green put back is good. Plus the foul. Thalo Green. He's cleaning the glass. Yeah, great veteran move. Again, keep the ball high. Bows out wide. Take the contact. Finish strong. Green has 12 to lead the Gold Coast tonight, Johnny. TJ do up six, Reese Martin five, Parker twelve, Rose nine, Tom eight, Petrie three, Salicic three. Kadi gets inside, dumps it off. Ben Wilson blocked by Eustace. Nice block there. Here comes the Gold Coast. Eustace hands it back, gets it back from Tom inside. Phalo Green reverse lab, no good, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line for a couple. He was open underneath the basket there for a good three or four seconds. Yeah. Thought Eustace might have held on to it a bit too long, but hit him just in time. That puts Brisbane in the penalty with 19 seconds to go in the third quarter. Carter did his work early, 15 points in the first half. Hasn't played a whole lot in this quarter. But they've got good production again from Kadi, who's got 13 in the quarter. 16 point lead here for many weapons on this capital group. Kobe Wilson, one of them, fires a three, it's good, and there's a foul inside. 
Let's see who they give that one to, because it was on Magne. Well, the shoulder looks all right to me, Johnny. Looked all right, for sure. So the foul inside goes against Jaden Tom, pushing Magne in the back. So I think it's one shot, because the shot went in. It's given him two. Maybe because it was off the ball and the shot had gone in. I, where, where's Regan yeah, where we need him? I mean, him? you know, Tony's offered to help as well. Where's Regan? Where's Tony? Tony's watching, I'm sure. So, Tony, if you are, let us know why he's at the free throw line for two shots, please. Magne missed them both. Gold Coast has four seconds to get a shot off Rose. Lost it. Ben Wilson recovers, throws one up. It's well off, and that's going to end the third quarter. And what a third quarter it was for the Brisbane Capitals. They're going to head into the break up by 19, Dave. The championship quarter was all caps. Sure was, Johnny. Plus 10 in that quarter. And again, for Gold Coast, it wasn't like they were horrible. I mean, 18 points is pretty reasonable, uh, but they just got to do a better job of containing Brisbane. They can't let them have 28 points. And they did it with, again, a bit of everything. Too many free throws, getting too many three-point opportunities, and Brisbane's just doing what they like at the moment. Well, let's see what the Caps can pull out, or if the Rollers can come back. We'll take a break. We'll come back with the final quarter of action with Brisbane up 19. The QBL men's grand final game one brought to you by Nothing But Net Media. Back with you here at Auchenflower Basketball Stadium. Heading into the fourth quarter. Dave, we had an explanation from Tony Caldwell, longtime uh, referee in the QBL. Tony explained to us the three-pointer counted. Yep. The foul was off the ball, which is why it was two shots for Will Magne. So okay. thank you, Tony, I, for letting us know. I just for some reason, I thought it was only a one, only a plus one, but I, I'm clearly wrong, and she's clearly right. Well, I, I trust Tony over you, Dave. Well, that's. I thought we were. I thought you had loyalty. We're, we're boys, yeah. but Tony knows that knows the rules. You know how to question her on her calls. <laughs> and and that I have done a few times. A few times, I'm sure. She seems to win that one too. Yeah. Here's the start of the, the fourth, and there's a foul. Good start from the Rollers again, trying to create some action at the rim. In particular, if they can chip away, get some foul, foul shots here. You know, as I said, they were um, one of the best teams in the league at creating or getting to this charity stripe. Oh, got away with one then. Good take by Eustace. He missed. Tom, offensive rebound, put back, no good. Tipped around, Kadi grabs it. Cops gets driving baseline, leaves his feet. Nice pass. Magne lost it on the way up, though. Good look. Kopsky has been really good tonight, both on defense and offense. As Eustace three is off, Green grabs the rebound. Probably want to guard him. Parker drains the three. Well, oh, Brisbane's just got to just got to stay hungry here. I think. The zone here from the Gold Coast looks like Dave. Yeah. Kopsky's in the corner and they lost him. Three-pointer off the side of the rim. Oh. Anderson nearly put it back in. Thinks he's Spud Webb. Man. Holy cow. Eustace gets inside. Short jumper is short. Anderson defensive rebound.
Cadiz passes tipped. Martin comes up with the steal for the Gold Coast. Layup is good. Reese Martin. And Coach McKinnon seen enough. He's going to take a timeout here early as Gold Coast has cut the deficit to 14. Pretty good start to the fourth for the Goldie. They're not going to give this one up easy. No, and again, uh, you know, you, you, I tried to will Jared Eustace to give you a little punch off the bench, but if it's not going, you've got to get another, direct, another direction. And again, TJ Job sitting on the bench. Um, Petrie hasn't fouled out yet, right? He's, he's got his four, but... Again, I'll be, I'll be putting all my horses on. You get one crack, and probably you've got about three minutes to give it a crack. Otherwise, you're in trouble. Got to like the aggressiveness, though, from Jared Eustace. He's may not, the shot not, might not be falling, but being aggressive opens things up for your teammates. He's missed a few, but they've gotten rebounds and now, putbacks. And yeah, that's a good point for sure, Johnny. I think, uh, but again, we, you know, we, they need the aggression, but they need buckets right now. Good crowd here. Eight minutes and 15 seconds to go in game one of the men's QBL Grand Final. 14-point lead here for the Capitals. Coach McKinnon called the timeout to reset his troops. And Gold is going to stay in this zone here, Johnny, and see if that can disrupt him a little bit. Kadee out to Carter. Deep three is up. Oh! And good! Zach Carter continues the hot shooting into yeah. the fourth quarter. Back in the game. Instantly makes a splash. Lead push back out to 17 now. Parker working against Kopsikis. Kicks it for Thalo Green. Three is up. And down for Thalo. He's certainly having himself a game tonight, Thalo Green. Yeah, still leads all Gold Coast with 16. Kadi. Puts it on the floor. Eustace gets called for the reach. It's the first team foul for the Gold Coast in the fourth quarter. And it seems to be that Brisbane's happy letting Thalo Green shoot the three. He's hit a few tonight, though. Yeah, yeah a little bit. As I say, I think it's a little bit in the game plan. I mean, he's 6 of 11. You know, so he's certainly doing his role and again love the love the confidence in him Carter has it stripped goes out of bounds off of Reese Martin so Brisbane will keep possession nine seconds to go on the shot clock Topskis goes inside Magne is short hook shot is good plus the foul that one goes against Diop And another technical foul goes against head coach McConlin. He's furious. He's got to be careful here. Doesn't want to pick up the second one. I'm not sure what the bench is about, Johnny. Just a plain old tech foul on the bench. I'm not sure what the... We can see Thalo Green chatting to the referees. They want the same call on the other end. They're feeling like they're not getting the same love when they have possession. Well, the free throw count is 25-13, and but I don't. That doesn't generally. That doesn't mean anything. Magne finishes the three-point play. Necessarily. Sometimes that's just how you play. Well, and again, Brisbane for me, they've you know they've been a really they've done a really good job of mixing it up at the rim, shooting the ball. Good ball movement. Parker gets inside, throws up the floater, blocked by Magna. He recovers and is fouled. 
So Parker will go to the free throw line for a couple shots. Foul goes against Aaron Anderson. I was going to say, Dave, the, the difference in the teams for me is we've seen a lot more Brisbane action at the rim as opposed to the Gold Coast. Yeah. I think that could be why we're seeing that differential in free throw attempts. Parker hits the first. Parker hits them both. 85-69 the score. We're approaching the six minute mark. Carter thought about that one. Instead goes to Kopskis, now inside. Magne, good catch, and the hook shot's good. That play for me right there shows the growth in Will Magne's game. Yeah. And equally, that also shows the patience and poise that Brisbane has delivered most of the year. Parker can't get the floater to fall, but again, he's fouled, so he'll go to the line for two more shots. Well, I think, uh, I think he did a pretty good job of moving his feet, to be honest. And uh, Jason Giddy's talking to Mark Milne about the same thing. But love that Parker's trying to create the action and gets a foul, gets rewarded with some uh, couple of shots. First one's good for Spencer Parker. Second one is good as well. Anthony Petrie going to check back into the game with four personal fouls. 6.15 to go in the game. Gold, the Gold Coast faithful have been a little quiet, Johnny, the last 10 minutes. 16-point lead here for Brisbane. Kadi has it guarded by Rose. Reverses it. Anderson gets inside. Nearly lost it. Goes back to Kadi. Floater up. No good. Good rebound there from Petrie. Rose hits the... Oh, I thought it was going in. But he's fouled by Jason Kadi. He's going to go to the free throw line for two shots. That one went in and came right out. It's a fourth foul on Kadi as well. Coach McKinnon's not happy with the referee. Zone's been a little, I think the zone's been okay tonight for Goldie. Maybe they stayed in it a little bit too much. Um, I'd like to see him mix it up a little bit more. A nice little half court trap here. Again, did what it should have done. You know, waste eight seconds off the clock. And created the turnover. Great job. And it's that secondary trap that you don't really see coming after you beat the first one. Carter wasn't expecting it and turns it over. Petrie inside for Diop. There you go. Great move. Good finish there from TJ Diop. Gold Coast trails by 12. And at any time they've done that, they've just got really good looks, right? Um, and then, that for, for whatever reason, they go away from some, from some of that stuff. Good, good learning for, I think, for the adjustments for tomorrow night. Anderson tracks down a long <laughs> rebound. Brisbane will continue to work some clock as we're under five minutes to go in the game. Carter, top of the key three is up. Off the side of the rim, Magne offensive rebound. Anderson from the corner. That's good for Aaron Anderson. A big three. Who's the lead out to 15? Well, he, and he deserved it because he's the guy who went and chased it down and then relocated and made a great shot. Parker open for three. That one rolls off and Magna grabs a defensive rebound. Oh, Magna is impacting the game on both ends, dominating the boards. 
Here's Magne. He wanted, I thought that one was going up. Anderson will put his up, and he hits back-to-back -back threes. That one was deep for Aaron Anderson. And the Capitals are up 18 with about four minutes to go in this one. Petrie looking to answer. That one's off the back of the rim. Job slaps it out. Petrie can't save it, though, and throws it out of bounds. Ben Wilson and Nick Stoddard will check in for Zach Carter and Anthony Kopskis. It's been a real balanced attack for Brisbane here through four quarters, Dave. Yeah. Led, led Magnai's 27, Cadiz 20, and Carter's 18. Wilson puts it on the floor, throws one up. It's no good, and there's a foul called. That's his fifth. That goes against Petrie trying to pick up the charge. And Petrie's going to be done for the night. Picking up his fifth foul with 3.38 to go. Gee, that must have been close. What did you think? I thought that was a try. I thought he was there, but It maybe, was close, for sure. Maybe he was moving. Wilson missed them both. Parker looking inside. Good read there from Ben Wilson. Coming up with the steal. And he gets the pass back. He was tried to hand off from Magne Rose, stole it. Kicks it for Salicic, open for three. That's off the side of the rim. Magne rebound, and he's fouled by TJ Diop. Looking to contest the glass. Yeah, it's a good shot. Good transition. Fourth team foul. Chase Morris checking in. Parker, you're going to get a breather. Parker going to the bench. Getting a, getting a breather. Looks a little displeased. Down 18 points. Three minutes to go, Dave. What do you reckon? Is it is it possible? It's highly unlikely. Well, let's see. Gold Math Coast has to string together a few stops here. Get well, again, themselves back into it. Again, if Brisbane's going to use 22 out of the 24 seconds... If they're smart, that is. Gade finds Anderson. Six on the shot clock. It's going to have to do something. Takes a few jabs, fires a three. It's up. It's an air ball. So there's one stop for the Gold Coast. Start our pressure in the ball. Oh. Morris turns it over. Kicks ahead. Magne misses oh. the dunk. He wanted the exclamation mark. He got the question. <laughs> Rose floated though, no good, and Wilson recovers. Anderson working the clock. His team is up 18. We're approaching the two minute mark. Anderson throws it up. Wilson lays it in, plus the foul. Great catch and finish there from Ben Wilson and a great look from Aaron Anderson. Yeah. 
20 point game, Dave. 2.02 left in this one. As the Gold Coast battled their way back to within single digits. The clock certainly not in their favor. Need to make something happen and make it happen quick. Rose kicks it for Diop inside. Reese Martin kicks it out. Salicic gets inside. They reverse it to Martin. Floater short and Kadir with the rebound and yeah, it's really a nice good, defensive really possession. Really good defensive possession. I think uh, we quite often when we're here at Brisbane we get caught up in the offense, but they're very good and very solid defensively as well. Yeah, they are. And I think for the a lot of the youngsters out there, you'll watch that uh, you know Coach McKinnon's done a really good job as well of playing with their bodies, taking contacts on the chest, keeping their mitts out. Here's a fan favorite, Tim Soong, getting his first minutes of the night. Ben Volkman checking in, as is Kobe Wilson. Uh, I'll be honest, defensively, you do feel a little bit better when I got the guy called Magne behind me. So Yeah, it helps. Foul on the floor. Goes against Reese Martin there in the penalty, so Volkman will go to the free throw line for a couple. Always interesting, Johnny, to see how teams deal with it and bounce back. Volkman hit the first. Misses the second. So Dave, let's get your thoughts on this performance here from the Brisbane Capitals. Really, really good. I, they, I thought Gold Coast <laughs> was really good in spurts, but it kind of started off a little too slow, and uh, they just couldn't, it seems very similar to the Rocky game a couple weekends ago, yeah. when Brisbane started so hot, got themselves a really good lead, and then it just took too much out of the opposition to try and come back. Yeah, a little. A, a little bit too, and I think defensively the energy was poor from the Gold Coast at the start of the game. And I think that's where they lost it. Uh, uh, for me, the start was so poor. And again, you're just looking at allowing Brisbane 30 in the first quarter. You're just not going to win ball games when you when you let them feel good about themselves. Versus versus the second and third quarter did a really good job. A lot, lot better energy. Execution, you know, has been okay. Um, I mean, for Gold Coast. Thalo's been, you know, good 16, oh, Parker 19, nice. Rose 11, Martin 7, Diop 8, Jaden Tom 8. We're going to see if we can get one of the Cavs players to join us uh, at the end to have a quick chat. See if we can get, uh, well, we'll see, but really impressive performance and a pretty solid statement from the Capitals in game one. They're going to pull out with a 17-point win, 96-79. They're going to run the clock out here, so... It's all in the Capitals' hands there. A lot more work for the Gold Coast Rollers to do, Dave. Yeah. And that is the final score, 96-79. Super impressive performance from the Brisbane Capitals. And uh, we'll see if we could go grab Will Magna. I might get you to walk through some stats while I see if I could grab Will. Okay. So for Gold Coast, uh, Thalo Green finished with 16 and 6. TJ had uh, eight and four. Reese Martin seven and two rebounds. Parker finished with 23, six boards. Rose had 11 and five. And uh, Jaden Tom for eight. I uh, had finished up with eight points. Sorry. And uh, just to go through some of the Capitals scorers, Carter finished with 18 points, six rebounds. Kopsikus five points. Aaron Anderson had the 12, nine rebounds, four assists, couple of steals. Kadi. Six points in that first half, but uh, four, uh, 20 finished with 20 in the end. Didn't shoot the ball that well in the end, but uh, still finished with 20 and was really a key in that third quarter. And Will Magne, 27 points, 10 rebounds, five assists, couple of blocks. And I just think uh, Johnny's here just 
getting Will Magne up here. Will, congrats, man. Thanks, man. Pretty big win uh, there, Will. Game one, a pretty good statement from the Caps. How, how do you think you guys played overall? Uh, I think we played pretty well. You know, I think uh, we kind of just, our approach to the week was just take care of what we do best. I think we uh, locked down, like, rebounding was a bit of an issue against Rockhampton last week, we, or two weeks ago. We cleaned that up. We executed on offense. Obviously, Jace didn't hit the shots we wanted him to hit this week, but, I mean, others stepped up. Benny Wilson played amazing. Aaron hit a couple of big shots. I mean, I think we all just came in, played our role, and then I think it showed on the scoreboard. So, The bench has been awesome all, all year long. It seemed like when Gold Coast was making a bit of a run there, coach went to the bench. Talk to you about the guys coming in off the bench and the attitude that they bring to the team. Oh, I mean, it's amazing. Like, it's amazing for me to come off and have a player like Ben Volkman with so much confidence, a big body. Dudes like Nick Stoddart come in with so much confidence, bring something different. You know, I think, like, we go 10 deep, 11 deep some nights, so I think they, we have so much confidence in them. Sam has so much confidence, and, you know, that's built up over the year. You know, they come in, they beat the starters at practice, you know, like, that earns them minutes. So, you know, they come in with a lot of confidence against teams like this and step up when they need to. It was a great game, Dave. Yeah, what do you, what do you think, Will, around the progression of you as a player this year? What, what do you think you've added to the toolkit in particular? Uh, I think sort of compared to last year, I just my hands are a little cleaner. Uh, I'm a little fitter. Yeah. Um, my body's in a bit better shape. You know, I'm a bit healthier this year. Uh, my touch is still still getting there. Like my jump shots coming along, but I think just my motor's a lot better this year. I yeah. feel, feel like I can I can play 40 minutes if you need me to, and I'll and I'll be effective for the 40. So I think the poise was really good too tonight for you guys. You know, spacing was terrific, and the poise. Sometimes you had the ball, they doubled you sometimes. And then you made good decisions out of it too. I think that's something you've definitely added is making the good, a good read out of it. Yeah, definitely. And it also helps, you know, we've got players that if you give it to them off a double team, they're going to make a play. So there's no hesitation to just get rid of it. So I know we all have complete confidence in each other and, you know, we just go out and play hard. Yeah. So you got game one. What do you need to do in game two to wrap it up tomorrow night? Exactly that. Just repeat that game. Come in. Like, we haven't achieved anything yet. You know, it's one game. We've got one more to go. Just come in like... New day, 0-0. Zero, zero. Come in, rebound, clean it up. We'll yeah. be, we should be good. Awesome. Well, I know you want to cool down, so I appreciate you coming up. Great no game tonight. Thank and, you. Appreciate uh, it, guys. Good job. We'll see you tomorrow night uh, and see what the Caps can do. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks. Uh, that's uh, Will Magne, the Brisbane Capitals big man, had a huge game and uh, really key to the Capitals' season, but a great performance again tonight. Yeah, I'm not going to bring up the missed dunk because I'm not no, going to no, rain we, on his we don't want to hold on to that. I'm not going to rain on his parade, <laughs> but uh, really impressive uh, win for the, for the Caps tonight. Uh, for Gold Coast, they got a little bit of homework to do, but I think I'm confident they can clean that up. If they can clean up the start, you know, they're right there. And, um, and obviously, Coach Conlon and the coaching staff will have a look at that tonight, and they'll come back and... Again, 1-0 means nothing. Fresh game tomorrow. It's going to be a great one. It was a great game tonight. Awesome crowd. Let's hope the crowd is that way again tonight. But that's going to do it for us from Auchenflower Basketball Stadium. I do got to thank my co-commentator, Dave Derwin. I got to thank Chris Sieber on the camera. I got to thank James Bowman and the Australian Sports Network for all of his help, not only with us here in the men's game, but also producing uh, the women's game as well, all remotely from Sydney. Thank you so much, James. And thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, all the comments were great. And lo love getting and hearing from everybody wherever you are watching in the world. But don't forget to tune in tomorrow night. Game two, can the Capitals wrap it up or can the Coast Rollers extend it to a third game? We'll find out tomorrow. Thanks again, everyone, for tuning in to another presentation of Basketball Queensland's QBL brought to you by Nothing But Net Media.